Hello guys, it's N60 Sean. It is time for another episode of Jack Jacksepticeye's My Career Journey. We got an NXT title shot in what better way to get ready for the biggest match in our career than having a sterile, smelly chat with everyone's favourite reptile. It's Baron Blade. I'm hoping this is going to be one of the last chats we have to have with this dude. Get angry. Chatting to you makes me angry, Baron Blade, so that's probably useful. Um, how do you feel? You don't care, Baron Blade. You know, why are you asking? You literally do not care about me, Baron. Nope. I want you to battle, but whatever it is, uh, then let it explode in the... No, that's even really... Not really response to what we said, is it, Baron? Pretty much, pretty much that point. Crowd loves that. Just gone off, gone off on his own little tangent. Squandered this opportunity. It's not me that'll yell at you. That'd be easy. Yelling at yourself is what you'll do. Who's <laughs> just yelling at their self? Just don't go mad. There's Jack Septicai alone in a room just shouting at his own reflection. That's maybe what you do, Baron Blade. Same with the NXT title stuff for guys like Finn. KO and Nakamura. Yeah, we know all that. Can we just like fight for the title now? You're you're sapping our vibe. We were full of like gumption and energy to go and win some championship gold. Look, get look. I love just how like unsatisfactory all of the uh, interactions end with Baron Blade. Everyone's just like, yeah, that that was a bad conversation, wasn't it? We don't. You know I mean, it's like two people having a conversation with each other who definitely don't like or care about each other. Just one of those. So here we go, NXT TakeOver, baby. Jack Septicai taking on the NXT champion, Bobby Roode. I mean, it's only like our second match. Well, our second full match. We beat Hideo Itami in our uh, debut. And uh, our match against Chris Hero, uh, Chris Hero, Cassius Ono. Um, Bobby Roode decided to poke his nose in our business for that. So then Jojo. Get the crowd amped for this, because this is going to be something special. So we've got to put on a three-star showing and win the NXT Championship. I think Jack's got that in him. And here he comes, Jack Septicai, who has a rich history of championship matches. A two-time N60 champion. Making his... Well, getting his first opportunity at WWE Singles Gold in a match for the NXT Championship against the glorious Bobby Roode. This ain't going to be no easy task. Jack. He is the rookie. He is the underdog in this. No one has had a faster rise to the top in NXT history. Could have given him some fancy gear for this. <laughs> Could have like spruced his gear up a little bit. Make it look a little bit more fancy than like what is essentially kind of generic jobber gear at the moment. Maybe we win the NXT Championship. We'll, uh, we'll update Jack's gear. Maybe send him to the gym a bit and like sort of stack him out. But before we start getting ahead of ourselves, before we start thinking of new threads, gym routines, benching and squatting, we've got a big, big challenge up ahead of us because my boy's on his way down, the NXT champion. Essentially, <laughs> basically the original N60 John, kind of. There he is, sing along at home. He's not quite N60 John. But he's quite close. He is glorious. He is Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode. He's got his game face on. He's looking confident. He looks annoyed actually that he has to. Uh, he has to be dirtying his hands with the likes of noobs like Jack Septicai. But do not let pride come before a fall, Bobby. He slowly rotates again. Round and round you go. Round you go, Bobby. And here he comes. Bobby Roode. And here it is, guys. This is what it's all about. WWE NXT Championship. Jack a boy, man, against the glorious one, Bobby Roode. The lights are down. Got that sort of weird lighting, which is making Jack look a little. It's a weird fishy pale complexion which isn't doing him any favours whatsoever. If we knew about this line, we might have hit the tanning salon before we got here. I mean, Bobby Roode looks a little washed out as well, but he also, he looks hungry, he looks, oh, looks even snarly. Referee holding the title belt aloft. Right, let's get this uh, face punching extravaganza underway. Jack going to his corner, Bobby going to his corner, stretching out those shoulders. Bobby Roode is looking jacked, he's looking muscly. The referee calls for the bell, and here we go. NXT Championship 
on the line and boom, sit down Bobby Roode. Bob, just luring Bobby Roode into our corner then and taking him down with a right hand and an Inzaguri. Jack now. Hitting Bobby Roode with that offence early on and then sending him into the corner and following up with a monkey toss, sending Bobby Roode into the corner of the ring. And Jack is looking confident, carrying on that Rich Vader form which saw him beat Hideo Itami and then another second clothesline knocking Bobby Roode down here. And Bobby said sprawling to the outside and Jack takes Bobby Roode to the ringside area and Bobby Roode much like Hideo Itami has been rocked and here comes Jack Zetakai but misses maybe got a little bit overzealous there went for the running body press and now Bobby Roode maybe that's what Bobby Roode was waiting for waiting for Jack to make a mistake and he's now just ramming him ribs first into the uh, into the barricades here escaped that Jack well done mate and Jack now with an elbow manages to battle out of it maybe Bobby Roode taking a little time there in another Inziguri to buy Jack a little bit of recovery time Remember, the championship can only change hands. And there's a nice sent on splash. Uh, the championship can only change hands on pinfall and submission. A count out does nothing for Jack here. And there's a lot of good news because we've just been planted with a backbreaker here. And Bobby Roode sending Jack into the ring. Bobby Roode obviously not wanting to win this one with a count out. It's NXT takeover. He wants to pin Jack Sentakai or at least make him tap out. And now he's got that thumb and index finger right in our pressure points. That's going to hurt. It's an annoying move, that is, Bobby. And now gone to the second row. Calling for Jack. Wait for him to stand up. Nope, decides not to go for the high-risk offence there. And then just goes for an elbow. But Jack, probably a little bit of a mistake from Bobby Roode. Another monkey toss. Almost sending him straight into the official there. As Jack goes to the top rope. Is Jack going to be NXT champion? Jack now up on the top rope. Oh, man. That was, that was rubbish. Jack Setsukai not quite having the range for that frog splash. But we're going to send Bobby here. I know, looking for a double arm DDT here. Nice plants. Bobby Roode with a Dirty Deeds-esque DDT. Come on, Bobby, son. Up you get. We're going to smash you about. This could be an emphatic championship win for Jack Setsukai. As the Sling Blade takes Bobby down and then going up top once again, hoping to get a better return then the last attempt we went up here and a big splash this time hits it Jack Sky hooks a leg there's the cover there's one but still too early and now Bobby Roode going for that going for that nerve hold once again squeezing those pressure points work those pressure points snap that collarbone and now Bobby Roode to oh gosh be fair with those please Sean oh man Bobby Roode almost retaining the NXT title with a nerve hold there. Which would have been... Oh, that would have been a shocker. Such a nightmare. Now he's trying to have a Paul Jack Septicai's head right off his shoulders. Brings Jack to his feet. Snap there. And now again going for that rear chin lock. Bobby Roode really slowing down the pace of this one. Really trying to gain control of this one, wrenching the chin of Jack Zemtakai. Need to get out of this if we can. And Jack Zemtakai now getting to his feet. Elbows to the midsection, battling out. Come on, Jack. Need some big moves here, mate. And Emerald Flosion, Jack with his finishing maneuver out of nowhere, managed to just wriggle out of that rear chin lock. Plants Bobby Roode with the Emerald Flosion. And now can he capitalize going up top now? This could be a huge moment for Jack Septikai, struggling to get up to that top rope. Goes for a sit-on but misses it, should have gone for the cover straight away. Jack Septikai looking to wow the crowd, gets picked up onto the shoulders by Bobby Roode, gets hung up onto the top rope. Could that decision to go high risk cost Jack Septikai in the long run? Bobby Roode drops the elbow on Jack, goes for the lateral press here, that's one, two, and oh, Jack kicking out just before the count of three. What is going on? Bobby Roode now. Moving Jack towards the ropes. So wait a second. Feet on the ropes here. Referee. Oh, and that time. Managed to get it. And Jack's fired up. But goes for the clothesline. Bobby Roode catches him. That could have been a danger zone for Jack. Hits Jack in the corner with a clothesline. Jack sends guy in big trouble here. Bobby Roode could be looking on. He hits the spine buster as well. This could be setting up for the glorious DDT. Bobby Roode's finish at the implant DDT. And if he hits this, Jack Zedekai's chance of becoming NXT champion could be all but over. But Jack reverses again, hits the glorious DDT of his own. Jack Zedekai now, going up top, looking to put an exclamation point on this. Go 
Nice bit of sense on Bob. Can he make the cover? Make the cover, Jack. With the over the glory. Is he going to win the top with the glorious DDT? That's one, two, and that's three. And Jack Septicide becomes NXT champion using the glorious DDT on Bobby Roode, following up with a swanton bomb. And Jack Septicide in his first try, in his first NXT takeover, wins the NXT championship. Oh my dilly. That was a madness. I thought we'd messed everything up then when we went when we missed the Swanton Bomb after the Emerald Flosion. I thought Bobby Roode was going to punish us. I can't believe we kicked out before the count of one with the feet on the ropes. It was a stroke of luck, but and the fact that we nailed it with the glorious DDT. There's that spine buster by Bobby. I thought it was all over there. And Jack receives the NXT Championship and once again Jack Septicai is champion. What are you going to say about that Baron Blade? Smash that like button for Jack being the champ and we got three and a half stars. I totally forgot we had to get more than three stars. So now we get to go and see how, oh there he is, Whoa, raise the roof. Oh don't, don't touch us mate, I don't want your slimy hands anywhere near me. Nice. Is that what you've got to say, pal? Is that it? Nice. Yeah, seriously, is that it? Oh, Baron Blade, you are a lawn to yourself. Super nice. Nice. You're so weird, mate. I want... It is like... Do you know what, Jack? You're right. It is like pulling teeth chatting to this clown. What are you grousing for? You did it. You, sir, are a born champion. And yet I still haven't impressed you. It's quite big, but I want to see it. Despite all the hard work and everything, you still aren't impressed with me. Ha <laughs> ha, get over yourself. Here for the spectacle of an army, you were just simply a part of that. Had fun watching, how about that? You satisfied? No, I will be satisfied once this conversation comes to an end. Baron Blade, let us go and sell. <laughs> You're funny. He's so weird. He's so weird. He is standard creepy guy. Oh, I really hope that this is where our interaction ends, Baron Blade. It's been emotional. Right, NXT champ in the house, walking through the corridor. Here's my boys. Here's the boys, Simon Triple H and Big Matt Bloom. Triple H, he was a bit yaggy with me last time we saw him. Okay, oh, he's back to doing suck it. Just won the championship, mate! Where's your words of, yeah, boy, fair play to you and no one else? I mean, at least Matt Bloom's looking happy, big, bold, smiling face. Hey, kid, kid, you floored everyone with that. I knew you had it in you right from the start. See, this is what I wanted. There we go, yeah, just a little bit of, just some, some praise. No, we're not fussy, just a little bit of praise. Bet on the fact that you, this very instant, are on the fast track to success. Like, keep putting on great matches like that. Keep making all the right decisions. Work in your fights. And the audience over. You might find yourself main event at WrestleMania one day. Well, I hope so. Uh, Matt, that'd be great. That's like the dream for everyone. You might do it too. Not sure that odd producer helped. No way. I'm not sure that oddball weirdo freak show Baron Blade did any good to this. What, him? No, he's great. Meticulous and passionate in his own way. Yeah, I don't even want to know the ways he's meticulous and passionate, mate. Absolute fruit loop. Those things at like his own pace. He's been supportive, even if you never directly noticed. Sure, I'll, I mean, I'll take your word for that, pal. Listen, gotta take off. Great job, kid. You wrecked it. Yes. Cheers, Matt. Top man. So, that is it for this episode. Jack is NXT champion. Oh, there's my man, Matt Rubio. There he is. I hope Matt Rubio is wherever we go next. So, right, that is it for this episode. What is going to happen now Jack is NXT champion? Guys, come back here for the next episode of Jack Sector Guys, My Career Challenge. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a video for you tomorrow. So make sure you're back here then. 
hit the subscribe button, smash notifications as well, you massive heroes. And drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Love reading your comments as well. Leave some of those in there. And uh, see you for the next one. See you later, bye.